Hello and welcome back to Kin in Line. I make this part 168. Um, this is actually the last of that group of abstract uh, watercolors that I was busy with the last time, and I'm sorry I cut the thing off abruptly there by mistake. So here we've got a kind of a tortoise type fish man uh, yeah and this was before COVID I think even so you know things were all starting to happen already and um, with this uh, transformation and the great reset um, and then after about a year so about a year ago as this madness took its toll to quote a famous thing we grew up with, film we grew up with called The Rocky Horror Show. Um, I decided to explore just within my own psyche the effects of the masking, the um, isolation, the quarantining, the forced... Uh, testing, the jabbing, the lockdowns, etc, etc. So this is uh, masked madness, I suppose you could call it. Um, I hadn't realized I put the arm coming out of the head, but I think that's probably fitting. So all these uh, ones have a mask theme. I've done them in felt tip and I think they work quite nicely. So the mask becomes just a part, it has, I mean this is psychologically these masks have become part of the psyche of people and uh, they're reluctant to relinquish them. It's, uh, in this country, unfortunately, they still haven't freed people up from this, uh, what I would call tyranny. Um, so there's a more abstract version of a, a woman. I mean, you do get to understand maybe how the Muslim faith see women where they conceal everything except the eyes, you know. What is that all about? Um, so I've used a variety of approaches to this problem of masks and faces. You can just see the viruses just floating around there, looking for ivermectin to kill them off without success. And you know, one of the real cruelties to me was these fellows. I mean, they're getting younger and younger as they push, put these things on their faces and then the ultimate horror was to shove needles full of something, I'm not quite sure what it is, into these people. Anyway, look at that thumb there. What's that about? And, you know, it could be argued that they made monkeys of us all. And I think this maybe captures that. Uh, the prehensile arm of a monkey or tail. Is it an arm or a front leg or a tail? Whatever it is. They brought, they certainly made monkeys of us. And then you got the forgivable but uh, interesting development that some 
that women in particular sort of started to see these things as fashion statements and got different patterns and accessorized their face masks. I mean, it's, it's incredible how people just became so accepting of this totally bizarre and irrational asphyxiation, really. Um, so that's me on a typical day, not looking at all happy as I walk around with my mask and but you know you know I do it for others it's because I'm so unselfish it's, it's for others and that could even be Fort Frederick at the back there because we have this fort in Port Elizabeth built in 1799 overlooking the old town which developed from 1820 odd but here of course everybody's now just zombified behind these things if they did one thing they uh, everybody was treated equally we were all subject to tyranny It even got so absurd that if you played tennis outside, this guy's either playing tennis or he's got a weird looking mirror, but anyway, he's certainly not enjoying the fresh air. Really athletic looking fold, isn't it? And then there was even talk of them putting these things on animals so, and giving them PCR tests, you know. PCR tests were invented by Dr. Carey Mullis in the 90s, I think. And he told um, Fauci in no uncertain terms that they are not diagnostic tools. You cannot find infection or disease using PCR test. It's a contradiction because they they it, they magnify the little bit of whatever you find in somebody's saliva or whatever. The, the whole point of them is to just magnify that and pretend that it's now there, you know, but it's actually not <laughs> in any sufficient qual quantities to be to justify your calling that a case of something. Anyway, this cat's whiskers have become a mask. But finally, we get some sanity as this it may look quite spooky, this guy. And he seems to have a mask over his face. So whatever he did, and he's got some weird, a weird leg situation going there. And I won't go into the phallic area. But this guy seemed to do the trick. Eh? This was Omicron. Came along and look at the sun, symbolic of our rebirth into a post-COVID pre-Ukraine nirvana. This guy, he would lead the, the freedom movement. No mask at all. And his body perfectly formed after all these years of bizarre maltreatment. Never let it be said that we're going to return to this era when a woman is actually just a woman, her gender isn't questioned, 
She doesn't have to cover her face with anything. And we can just appreciate her for who she is. That is what we want to return to, folks. And I'm going to end on this note because it's a happy note. So cheers for now.